Um, my name is Bruce Robertson. I'm an assistant professor of biology at a Bard College. Um, I'm here at this mismatch symposium because uh, I've been doing some research on, on some topics that, that relate to uh, how novel environments influence um, the fitness of organisms. I study wildlife, I'm a conservation biologist, and um, I study, I'm sort of an expert on these weird phenomenon called evolutionary traps, and they are cases in which um, we rapidly changing environments cause organisms to suddenly be unable to make good decisions. Um, the cues that we all use to make decisions can get sort of pulled away from, decoupled from the uh, fitness value of the environment. And that'll happen to wildlife, say, when, um, when the, the habitat quality suddenly gets degraded and, and, or, and they can't tell the difference between a good place to live and a bad place to live. One, there's, there's lots of uh, cases in which this happens um, in, in, in sort of the natural world and it, it's a conservation problem because organisms will actually end up preferring to go to population sinks and so they, they're actually sort of fighting over the worst, worst place to be um, and we cause these problems. Uh, one, one sort of recent one um, involves tourism where, where if you've ever been on a tour to the tropics and you go, they take you out on a boat to go fishing, to go to see some of the sharks and they'll put down a, a sort of stinky can of, of bait and so all the, like the sort of sand sharks and, and manta rays will come up and you can sort of see them and, and even swim with them. Uh, I actually did this last year and, um, and this is, um, this causes a, a, a serious problem for the stingrays and the, the sharks because they are normally very solitary foraging organisms but they, when they sort of learn to become, to, to, they become attracted to these sort of stinky pots of food. And there is a little food involved for them, but they, they end up sort of crowding in and then they, they kind of, because they're so close to each other, this is very unusual for them, they can, they can hurt each other, they can damage each other, um, they, they sort of spread parasites to each other, um, they die more often because of the parasites and the uh, disease and injuries they're giving each other, and they, they actually grow more slowly. Uh, in areas where this happens because they're, they're sort of getting uh, distracted away from real food sources towards these sort of fake food sources in a sense. Um, happens in all kinds of contexts. Sea turtles, for example, see light uh, from the moon as a way to sort of get from their little burrow when they hatch out to the ocean. And uh, yet they also sort of get distracted by these artificial light sources like um, beachside uh, resort light lighting. And they'll go up the beach instead of down the beach towards the water. Um, and uh, so anyway, I, I, I sort of try and figure out a way to identify when, when these problems are going to come up and, and ways in which we can solve them, like say in that sea turtle example, putting a, a, light, a red filter over that light that sort of, they can't, which makes the light invisible to them and then they can sort of adaptively get to the water. Well, um, I, I, I've come to this meeting as the wildlife expert, uh, but, uh, and I'm far from a human expert, but uh, certainly uh, we are animals and, and almost every group of organisms um, on the planet have now been identified as having these special types of mismatch, these sort of evolutionary traps, and I, I would be very surprised if, if things like human sort of fast food or, or, or things like, say, even pornography were to not be evolutionary traps for, for humans, that whether or not they're, they're big conservation, big problems for our well-being or our fitness, um, our health, uh, I think will depend upon each, each example. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I'm hoping to find a sort of design. My role here, one of my important, I think my biggest role here is going to be to try and find, use a, develop a framework by which we can attack this problem. We can sort of realign, realign the landscape that we use to make our decisions with the landscape that determines our fitness and, 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 and uh, to, to, our, to our benefit.